Hi everyone, I'm here in Excel and by the way, before you ask, this is on the Mac but it works exactly the same way on Windows. And what I've got is a bunch of jobs I did for a client over here. I've got the durations and I've got it totaling up. So I entered this in hours, minutes and seconds and then it's given me a total. I've also got over here on another sheet a list of video clips their durations, and I can see the total time here. So the trick to this, let me just go back to the timesheet, is to enter this in hours, minutes and seconds. So let me just do this again in the other column just here. And what I do is I type in, say the two, 32, and I need to put these zeros in here. And the same here for this one over here and so on. And I can go down and then I can just use my sum to just total that up. So I can type that in and highlight it. And you could use your kind of auto sum, although the auto sum does have a bit of a problem. Let me just show you. So let me just get rid of this over here and let me just click on my auto sum and you'll see it hasn't selected the right things here. If it was just numbers, it would be fine. So that's what you have to do. I'm going to the video one here because I want to show you over here exactly the same thing. And you might be asking, there's no hours in this, so why do I need to put in the leading zeros for that? So let's just try it. So let's just do 32 seconds. So I'm just typing the one zero in, whoops, <laughs> held the shift key down too quickly. So 145, Oop, let me just do that again, 145 and no zeros in the front there, and it puts in the extra zero. Let's see what just happens when I do 25, 32, and this is where it kind of goes wrong. And I can tell you it's when it's anything over the number 24. So it's obviously got something to do with, you know, the 24 hour clock. So if I do 23, 59, that's fine. Do 24, boom, and it's not right. And you're probably thinking, oh, well, for these ones here, why don't I just um, type in with the leading zero for those? But actually, it's best to keep it all consistent because look what happens now if I try and total this up. So let me click on my auto sum. It's picking this one to the side because it's closest. Highlight this. Oh, it's clearly not right. That's kind of showing me well, if it was four hours and 12 minutes, it's still wrong because of that 25. If it's also because of four minutes and 12 seconds, it's clearly not right. So my advice is put the leading zeros in. You don't have to type both zeros. You don't have to type in, so in this one, you didn't have to type in the zero one either. So that's how you do it. So totaling up things where you've typed them in in hours, minutes and seconds, so you can work out durations, total durations. Well, that's how you do it. It's just simply typing it in correctly. Thanks for watching. If you do like this, please do like, share and subscribe and come back for more.